So Colomet. Um <laughs> it's, it's, it's just quite copying him. It's just to save energy. <laughs> but I'll try a more successful copying this time. I mean, how far can the mirroring go? Go. Okay, I think I need to take here because otherwise b5 he just takes. Um, b takes. Maybe bishop takes. So I think I do need to take on b4 first. So it's sort of intelligent mirroring, really, <clears throat> is the way to describe this. Um, try not to lose a piece in the process. So this is resembling a British Championship game I had a couple of years back. So Bishop F4. Can be Bishop F5. Okay, so we're 12 moves in. Um, so, so Tavia white to move, does white have a big advantage? <clears throat> the problem is I haven't gained time on the clock. He's used about 30 seconds and I've used about 30 seconds. Again, I've you know I've only got a ten second thing. I don't know what's happening with the clock. Um, so knight takes here. Oh, he's got knight c7. I think the mirror's broke because it's a check. Oh dear. All right. I have to move the king legally. So he's broken the mirror. What's the position like now? So uh, I got knight g4, knight c2, knight g4. I'm trying to get my king into safety on king g7, manually castling. <clears throat> Looks alright. Otherwise, knight e5 is going to be good. Knight e5, knight e5, bishop g2, king g2. I suppose that's alright for white. Right, bishop f3 first, then knight e5. Okay, he's sometimes threatening mate here. Got to be careful for that. Knight takes e5 here. I can win the knight on c7. But then back row checks are going to be embarrassing. So how about knight c2 here instead? Um, knight c2. Knight e5. Mm. Or bishop e5 to give the king an escape square. Bishop e5. I'll try bishop e5. So that this back row mate, back row not mating, but well, probably is actually, if I move the queen. So I've got an escape square for the king now. So queen b4, maybe bishop takes c7. Knight e5. I don't know, maybe bishop g2 first, then queen c7. Bishop g2 and knight e5, then queen c7. Bishop g2, knight g4, bishop f1. There's bishop g2, there isn't knight c6. There's knight d7, it's king g7. Uh, there isn't knight e6, there's... Uh, okay. So bishop g2. Uh, try that. Now knight e5, take on c7, and this is anything better. Can't see anything better. Don't I just end up pawn up if I take on e5? We just lost the piece. He's just resigned. <laughs> uh, I think there there is something psychological about this. It's like um, pretending to be an idiot, but uh, that there is... I think a British grandmaster that plays this Keith Arkell with black, um, I think, playing the mirroring system because it is, you know, one of the main important lines of um, the English, the symmetrical English. So, um, yeah, that was a bit of a disaster. He he should have just taken on b4, but after queen e5, he's a pawn down. So something's happened here, which is slightly wrong. Maybe the although the check broke the mirror. Knight g4, I don't know, maybe black's okay here. Interesting. 
Um, that seems to be okay. Comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.